if we get like 10 of them and if we can get them all out every weekend we can make like 3,000 a weekend we can make like 4,000 a weekend and I was like sis we made my entire salary during the pandemic let me tell you something let me tell you something let me tell you something My name is Amber and I am the owner, co-owner of Avis Crazy Playground LLC. So, a little bit of background about me. I'm originally from Atlanta, Georgia, born and raised. I uh, attended South Atlanta High School, graduated, attended Clark Atlanta University, and I graduated and I went straight into the workforce. Went to Clark Atlanta University and I graduated with a bachelor's in business marketing with the goal of becoming an entrepreneur. Towards the end of my four years at Clark, I discovered, when I discovered, I <laughs> I became pregnant with Ava, who is now four years old. Um, and I found out around March of 2016, and I was graduating May of 2016, and so I decided to go straight into the workforce. Um, I got a great job. Um, made a great salary, a decent living for somebody who was coming straight out of college with no debt. And I worked that job and I did the best that I absolutely could. But guess what? Like, I hated it. So, Ava and I, which is my daughter, Ava and I, we were at um, a birthday party. And you know, they had the little jumpers. And I was like, you know what? I think this is a business. I think this is something I want to tap into. My boyfriend suggested, yo, why don't we just buy the bounce houses and we take them to people's houses and we can charge them $100, $200, $300 to rent it out for the birthday party. If we get like 10 of them and if we can get them all out every weekend, we can make like 3,000 a weekend. We can make like 4,000 a weekend. And I was like, How this end up buying me one of them. I bought one bounce house. This is the beginning of Ava's crazy playground. First rental. One of many. And so we bought that first bounce house, right? I posted that picture of the bounce house on Facebook Marketplace. We had like 60 requests. 60 people was like, yo, can I rent this tomorrow? Y'all got it this weekend. And I was like, are you effing kidding me? And so we made so much money off that first bounce house. That one bounce house we made, we literally made our investment back within four rentals. So after we had rented it out four times, we had made our money back. 2020 hits. Everything is shut down. Me and my boyfriend, we were like, oh my God, what is gonna happen to our business? This virus is out, people don't wanna be outside, people aren't gonna be having gatherings, people are gonna literally be at home, you know, with their loved ones, just praying that they don't get sick by this virus. Sis, we made my entire salary during the pandemic. Let me tell you something, let me tell you something, let me tell you something. He ended up getting a truck, I'm so many pieces missing. So as I was adding inventory of bounce houses, I also added a truck to our business, a trailer to our business. So we were no longer using um, my personal SUV, but now we have a pickup truck. So instead of being able to put one bounce house in, now we can put eight bounce houses. We can have four at the top and four on the trailer. What's good, sis? People were fiending for those bounce houses. We serviced 220 rentals in 2020, according to my data and analytics um, on my website. Yeah. And so a lot of people will ask me like, why did I get started? That's pretty much the reason why I got started. I got started in this industry because I love my daughter. I want to spend time with my daughter and I don't want to work a nine to five that's going to compromise me being able to 
be a great mom and so why not incorporate my child in that business Ava is a part Ava is Ava's crazy playground she is the face of Ava's crazy playground she understands the necessity of having this business she understands that we rent this out so that we can afford to do X Y and Z so we can afford to do this and this is generational wealth this is something that's going to be passed to you and your grandkids and your great grandkids this is the foundation that we're setting for our family so like hey, this business will be in our family for years and years and years to come, especially with all of the new growth opportunities that we're going to be exploring or that we are exploring in 2021. It was Crazy Playground. What I will say is that we have been very successful and um, I'm going to take you guys on a tour on what we do and how we set up. All right, y'all, we are out here. We have a standard bounce house today. Um, really simple. We're going to lay the tarp down. Um, we started this one. It's probably gonna be an overnight one. This is probably like 40 miles from where we live. And yeah, I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. So here we are going to unravel the bounce, okay? This is what we do. Sometimes it's a two-man job, um, but for the standards and the combos, we've really pretty much mastered them individually, so we really don't need help, so. I'm gonna just record the show. Yeah, I'm gonna clean out all of this. I already like sprayed some stuff. About to like mop it and wipe it out. And then we'll be good to go for today. This one, we here all day, like I said before, cause this one's kind of far. I don't know if y'all can hear me, but yeah. Just finished cleaning. Um, kids gonna come out later, play with it. That's it, this is a basic rental. The next one, I'll show you guys a combo. Um, concessions, tables, and chairs, all that good jazz. So, we'll see y'all in a minute. Pink Princess is about to go out. This rental is getting tables, chairs, and concessions. So, be back. All right, y'all, the Pink Princess is out. This is what she looks like. This is our second biggest one. Hi. Sanitize, sanitize, sanitize your units. Got a little mop here. Gonna mop in a second. So this is also, we also do concessions, popcorn, cotton candy, and snow cones. This particular rental is just cotton candy and popcorn. So that's what we set up today. We supply the popcorn. Cool thing about these bags is it comes with butter, salt, and kernels already in it. We have our cotton candy sugar, strawberry, and then we have the cones as well. Um, we think it's best if you supply all that stuff so they don't have to go somewhere else to get it. Just include it in your packages and make sure that, you know, you get profit from both. And that's it. That's pretty much um, what I do. So during the week, I'm pretty much just going over the books, going over the accounting, going over, you know, ordering inventory. Um, I'm posting ads on Facebook. I'm posting ads on Instagram. I'm also doing some grassroots marketing. I'm out in the field. I'm putting Walmart. I'm putting flyers on your car in Walmart, honey. People coming out, they don't win to Walmart to get them bread. They come back, it was crazy playground right on their car, okay? Um, I'm out networking, I'm out prospecting, I'm meeting with, I'm sending emails to boys and girls clubs, to recreation centers, places that I know that are gonna be opening back for summer camps and you know summer events so that they can have a bounce house company. Hey, look, you're gonna be having these Easter egg events. Go ahead and make that, look, we gonna sanitize it, make sure and monitor it, and there's a lot of kids going in there, we'll staff the full event. I'm reaching out um, so that we can have those opportunities to expand and become bigger than what we are because my goal is to be the number one party equipment rental service slash indoor playground 2021 i stand you heard it here and i affirm it when you become a mompreneur look when you become a mompreneur you the mama you the driver you the chef you the marketer, you the accountant, you're the CEO, you the customer service, you are finance, you are the returns department, you are the entire business and you are the entire business while being a mommy, okay? You have to understand like this life, this life is, is it's rewarding financially and it's also rewarding, you know, emotionally, physically, mentally. But at the same time, you gotta understand that it does come with a cost. It does come with sacrifice. Like a lot of times, like I'm not hanging out 
I'm not, I'm not, and don't get me wrong, I have fun when I have fun, but I can't just be out every weekend doing whatever. I got money to be made. I got, I gotta work on my businesses. I have to work on what's going to create generational wealth for my family. Cause once I hit a hundred mil, I can chill. But until then, I can't chill. I might chill a little bit when I hit my first meal. You know what I'm saying? Gotta, you know, reward yourself. But I cannot chill as much and I can't be as lax as much because I'm super young. I'm 26 years old. I'll be 27 this year. And I'm not trying to be 37 still trying to write this same book. Trying to write this same story for y'all. I want to be 37 signing that book. Going on a million dollar tour. Letting y'all know what I have done and already accomplished and what's coming in, in store. But I want to be already done conquer these goals that I got set for myself. And so in terms like I have to make sacrifices. And sometimes I got to wait to Ava go to sleep. Sometimes I gotta put Ava to bed, read her story, get her tummy full with some cookies and milk. And I gotta put her to bed and then mommy gotta get up and work. I gotta be in my office. I gotta I gotta pull a couple late nights, a couple early mornings to get what I want. But it's what I want for me and it's what I want for my daughter. And so the tips that I would give you is that you have to make your time what you want to make it. Don't just do a business because you see everybody doing it and you think that you wanna do it because everybody's doing it. And don't just do something because you don't think nobody's doing it but you really don't like it. Once you find out what you like and what you're passionate about, right? Find out how you can monetize it. For me, I never thought that I would be owning a party rental equipment company. I never thought that I would be doing that, but I love children. I love bringing joy, and I love bringing joy to black communities. A lot of time in black communities, we don't get to we don't get to celebrate a lot of our accomplishments, a lot of our celebrations. We don't necessarily have a lot of these things that are accessible to us in our community. So my purpose is to bring that accessibility to our community. I never had a bounce house for my birthday. I never had something like that. Something something that my mommy can rent for 99 bucks that come out and I can have a great food day and have the best party in the entire world. We're uh, but balance is key. Like you're gonna have to balance being a mom and running a business. It's just like being a mom and working. It's the same thing. And if you're looking to trans transition or start, there's never gonna be a perfect start time. Like, there's never gonna be a perfect start time. The time's to start when you're ready. Not say, oh, I'ma just start doing it in two years, three years, it'll be better then, it'll be better then. It's never gonna be better. It's always gonna be some issues. It's always gonna be a problem. It's always gonna be something that's going on that necessarily, not necessarily, may not, may not necessarily hinder you from doing your business, but there's always gonna be an obstacle that's in the way, so it's really you. It has to be you versus you. Every day is me versus me when I wake up. If you're an aspiring mom or you're already a mom, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. We're gonna be bringing you um, a lot of different moms who are moms or aspiring moms, rather, that will be either starting out their businesses or they're in process of their business or they're already in business so make sure you guys stay tuned we have more episodes to come mommypreneur series we also would be having a mompreneur brunch details are later details are coming soon so please follow us on instagram as well for some inspirational content and we also highlight other mompreneurs as well it's at mompreneur series on instagram you're also feel free to join our facebook group at mompreneur series which i also will link below as well thank you guys so much for tuning in to us stay tuned for our next episode where we'll be di diving deep going in <laughs> where we'll be diving deep with other moms going through to see what they do and give you a day in the life of the millennial mompreneur thank you guys and we'll see you guys next time